a courtroom drama which is realistic, emotional and engaging. That's Nera for you. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel guys and in this video I will share my thoughts on the Malayalam film Nera which stars Mohanlal in the lead role and is directed by Jeetu Joseph. Now this movie essentially is a courtroom drama that deals with seeking justice for a blind girl who is a rape survivor. The movie in the very beginning lets us know what is the actual context, what is the matter, what is the case, who is the victim, who is the accused. The major chunk of the film is actually how both the sides, the prosecutor as well as the defendant fight the case. What are the arguments that both the sides bring in the court and present it to the judge and finally does justice prevail or not that is essentially what this film gives us so we actually have a very very good plot point at hand and when it comes to courtroom dramas it is always the writing and the screenplay that matters a lot and here that becomes nera's biggest strength the way this entire story has been written the way the dialogues have been written it's absolutely brilliant the writing of the sequence of events that occur the arguments that have been written for both prosecution as well as the defendant the character backstories of all the cast members everything is in its place and in proper proportion that's what i like the amount of information that is required to give context it is given nothing more nothing less which actually keeps the focus of the audience into the courtroom drama which is the actual main plot all of this makes for an extremely engaging watch for the audience and when i say engaging now something like janaganamana which is one of my favorite favorite films it is also second half is like essentially a courtroom drama there the courtroom drama has much more intensity but here in Nera even though it's engaging but it's much more realistic and toned down but the impact is still there and that is the brilliance of the writing because so many details that are planted in the film about the father the mother the girl the family dynamics the family background the background between Mohanlal and Siddiq the background between Mohanlal and Priyamani all of these information they are critical because they actually define the behaviors of all these characters and the payoff in the end is just so worth it and that's why these small small details about the character and how they behave with each other forms a very very important base and that is why you need solid writing for a film like this and in that department this movie did not disappoint me at all two really iconic scenes in this film which i'm not able to forget are number one when in the court mohanlal counters siddhi saying that how do you expect a rape survivor to behave because if in your mind you think she should behave in a B C pattern and she's behaving in X Y Z pattern then that is your problem that is your narrow mindedness because today's generation is not scared to say who how and when oh my god the whistles that scene generated in the theater it was absolutely iconic the second one is the last scene when the sculpture of Siddiq gets revealed for those who have watched it you know how iconic that scene is the clapping and cheering at that moment was just so amazing it felt like a collective win please let me know which are your standout sequences in this film mine were clearly these two coming to the technicalities most of the film is shot in the court room but essentially here the cinematography there are many scenes where there are close-up shots of the people and that forms an extremely important part of the narrative for example when you see a close-up shot of Mohanlal you know and you feel how underconfident he is you kind of figure out that oh he's not so sure of this argument oh he's in a dilemma oh he's kind of thinking something something is going on in his mind so all of those are very very crucial to the narrative or for example the close-up shots of Priya Mani and Siddiq so just you know to catch the expression of what that particular character is thinking the cinematography style has been kept like that the running length of the film is two and a half hours and honestly at least for me i did not feel the pinch of the time and it's only because it is edited really well and the screenplay is very very engaging you don't really feel the lag because every detail that has been presented to us every information it's crucial even the background score for that matter you know when it comes to a courtroom drama like i said you can make it 
very very dramatic or you can keep it realistic so here because the tone is quite realistic the background score is also in sync with that now the performances i think after writing it is the performances which is the second most important pillar of this film lalita as the underconfident lawyer is just perfection you know like i said in cinematography when you see his close up shots and he's thinking he's in a dilemma he's not feeling very confident those expressions and they are very subtle expressions it's not like oh he's emoting a lot very very subtly he is emoting but you get it and that's the power of the performance another important aspect is that this is not a hero film like yes mohanlal is the lead of the film but you never feel like oh it's about him the film is written in a way that it's about the case it's about the lawyers both prosecution as well as defendant both sides have been given equal weightage so as a viewer you end up appreciating every performance priyamani is purnima is absolute fire her dialogue delivery her screen presence her aura she looks intimidating anaswara rajan also is another stand out because she doesn't have many dialogues she gets her moment of shine obviously in many places but it's her ability to say a lot of things without saying that's what i liked about her character as well as performance the way the character maintains her dignity and the way she represented it it was beautiful also with siddiq you would be so pissed off looking at him but that means he has acted it out so well him as raj shekharan i was getting so angry so angry he was invoking that emotion of anger inside me and i was like when is mohanlal going to defeat this guy i want this guy defeated that is how brilliant his performance was other supporting cast like jagdish they also performed really well but these four definitely would be my stand out performance pick and another thing which made me so happy is because uh, last mohanlal film i saw like he was he played a cameo there obviously he was in jailer and there he had this extremely swagger confident guy role and here it was the complete opposite so it just made me appreciate his craft even more and i feel the character that he plays here the subtlety with which he portrays all these emotions that is the mohanlal that i think everybody wants to see because these are the kind of roles where you really see him you know quote and quote flex his acting chops i am really really glad that jitu joseph wrote a character like this for a lalita to play and with this movie again we see that the mohanlal jitu joseph combo is the killer combo guys it's the killer combo when they join forces together it's definitely magic at least for me so you guys let me know what did you think of this film what are your biggest takeaways pros and cons whatever your thoughts are please put them down in the comments and that was my review for nera hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i'm going to sign off now and i will see you soon on my next video bye